everyone, my name is Sam. I'm the lead ambassador animal specialist here at your Dallas Zoo at the Wild Encounter stage. And here on stage, we are getting ready to introduce one of our larger mammals that we work with. His name is Kayamba, and Kayamba is an African crested porcupine. As an African crested porcupine, Kayamba is the largest species of rodent found in Africa. Rodents have a very special feature that kind of puts them into their own category, and that's their two front teeth. They're portrayed in cartoons as having buck teeth most of the time, but those two front teeth never stop growing. So rodents do a lot of chewing, whether it's on food items or maybe woodworking, things like that. So Kayamba here actually gets things like logs, bark, branches, animal bones, antlers, all sorts of things to chew on here at the Wild Encounter stage in order to help saw those front teeth down. His diet is also going to help him. He is an herbivorous species, also known as a vegetarian, so he eats plant material. So you might see him out here foraging around on our stage looking for things like sweet potatoes, apples, carrots. He gets all sorts of different items here. Out in nature, they do eat a lot of things like roots, shoots, and tubers. So they do a lot of digging under the ground in order to find those really tough roots to eat. Of course, as a porcupine, he has some really obvious defense mechanisms all over his body. Those are called quills. And he has several different types of quills, but there are three main ones that are really noticeable. He has really long quills that are called indicator quills that stick out of the back of his body. He also has really stout quills that surround his tail, which he can actually shake to create a rattling sound to try to ward off predators. And then he has all of the other quills all over his body that are kind of the same length, same size, and same pattern. Pattern. Those are the main defensive quills. Now, one of the strongest misconceptions about porcupines is that they can shoot their quills out of their body. But like I said, that's a misconception. They actually can't shoot their quills. The reason for that is because their quills are just hair, like the hair you have on your head. And unless you can shoot your hair out, these guys can't shoot their quills out either. What can happen is they can actually puncture up to two inches beneath the skin of a predator, making them an extremely effective defense mechanism. Kayamba's name in Swahili actually means shake, rattle. And Swahili is one of the most common spoken languages in Africa, so that's why we kind of themed that name. But since it's one of their defense mechanisms, we thought it was pretty appropriate. <laughs> While we aren't going to be seeing African crested porcupines or guys that look like Kayamba right here in our backyards in Texas, we do have a porcupine species native here known as the North American porcupine. They are shaped very differently, and they actually are arboreal, which means they live up in our trees. So the next time you're walking around out in your backyard or a nature area, make sure you kind of watch the treetops to see if you can spot one of them. We always wanna to try to do our part to help to create a better world for our animals, especially right here in our backyards in Texas. While we're all staying at home, being nice and safe and practicing social distancing like what we're doing with Kayamba here on stage, you can do amazing things to help animals in your backyard as well. Doing things like making sure that there isn't trash on your streets or your sidewalks is a great way to make sure animals aren't eating things they're not supposed to. But another thing that we can do is making sure that we're careful about what we're spraying on our plants. It's really easy to try to keep pests away from our gardens and our other plants, but it can be really harmful to animals native to our backyards that might be munching on those leaves or even animals like our insects in our backyard that are trying to eat other types of insects like our spiders that try to eat our mosquitoes. Those harmful chemicals like pesticides can actually affect our spiders. So we want to make sure we're doing our part and being careful about what we put out into our environment to make sure our native species can be nice and safe. Kayamba is a regular at the Wild Encounter stage here at your Dallas Zoo. So if you ever wanna stop by and see him, as soon as you can come back to your Dallas Zoo, make sure you stop by, say hello, and see all of the amazing behaviors that he can do right here at the Wild Encounter stage. We hope that y'all stay safe and that we can see you here again soon here at your Dallas Zoo.